Hey everyone, this is Rick. I wanted to talk a little bit today about light exposure and damage to books, even in a slab or outside of a slab. Uh, many, some of you will know that I, I do sell a product that is, I call it a slab max UV. And you, you, this is covered, it's got protective coating on it. But what you do is you just stick it here with a couple of glue dots and then it's supposed to protect your books from uh, light damage over time if they're, uh, you know, posted even when there's light, uh, outdoor light, uh, indoor light, doesn't matter. It helps to protect them. So the questions are, the natural questions are, does it work? And what, why can't I just use a regular a thin film? And what are the differences and what do I get out of it? So I did buy some thin film, some UV protective film. I cut it in the shape of a hexagon and I took a one of these slab max UVs. I cut two hexagons out of it put it on a comic book and left it for uh, several months, like five months, I believe, outside. Facing up, where at night it had a security light on it, and during the day it exposed to whatever meager sunlight we get here in Washington State. Uh, I did it to two books. One was uh, like a 80s uh, Spider-Man book with a lot of orange on it. The other one was an older Silver Age uh, kid called Outlaw book. And here I'll show you the before and after pictures, just so you don't have to watch the whole video if you don't want of the uh, Spider-Man book. And I will make a note that in this particular book, the front, the top of this one, I didn't put a glue dot in this one corner here. And so when I came back to look at the, inspect the book, it was the, this part was not seated properly. So it was up over the edge of this. It's hard to imagine, but I'll show you a photo here. It was sort of lifted. So about the top third of the book was sort of away from there and so it didn't really it wasn't really a good test but it is what it is and i'm just going to show it for what we have uh the uv part however was taped directly to the this guy here so that was that was at least that was in place and then here's the kid cult outlaw book where you can see where i took the two hexagons i had cut out of the slab mac protector and glued them to that book itself in two different locations and you can see those images here so there you go there's the final before and afters and i'll show you how i did the experiment and what the results were here hope you enjoy the video so here's the initial book and i've laser cut these two hexagons and i'm checking it for sizing and seeing where they're going to go on this book the left one will have the uv part in it and the right one will be just neat so here I just peel these, these outer coatings, these protective coatings off of the slab max board. And I just you know, peel it off and apply it to the front of the board. It doesn't matter which direction, I just prefer the X's to the right more. So here's this left one's gonna have the film in it, and the right one will just be blank. And the, so the right one's a control, see what would happen if it's just exposed to light. The left one will have this UV film protector. The UV film protecting experiment went okay because that actually was taped to the book. Now I'm going to mark out the spot so I can see where these are going to go. Make sure everything stays lined up. And of course this experiment sort of failed because I, I didn't place it properly and it lifted up from the board. I didn't use enough glue dots, but here's the UV film. I'm checking it for size. Oh, it fits okay. And I just simply tape this in place with a piece of normal everyday scotch tape to see if this adds any protection at all. Uh, you know, spoiler, it really didn't offer any protection whatsoever. And then I put this guy in place. And again, the right one just neat, it's just exposed to light. And the left one has got the UV film and then we're ready to place it outside. But wait, there's more. We take the two pieces that we laser cut out and we're going to attach them to this rawhide kid. I had two, I really should have made more, a better pattern, but put this over this red area, which I already believed to be very sensitive to light fading. And then some yellows and blacks 
up here on the top. I should have done some of those blues as well. And I'm just going to put a uh, little mark here around the outside of it. And get ready to place them outside. There you go. All right, all done. Now we're ready to start. So it's not particularly fancy, but this is where this lives. It's gonna spend some time living outside. I had to put a little bit of protection just to keep water from collecting on it and dust. And I had to replace this a couple of times, but overall that's what it started out looking like in its outside experiment. Here's the ASM-277. Now remember the top third, especially the left top third, would lift it entirely away, so it's all of it is essentially a control of what the light exposure would be. That's what it looked like on the top third and the bottom two thirds is, was masked. Now the UV hex film was in the left hex and that was there the whole time. Here's the initial picture. You can compare what the initial and the final books look like. I think it's a pretty big difference in the top third especially, you can tell. Here's the final picture of where the UV film was taped inside that hex there. And outside of it's the slab max part, but of course the top third was lifted as I continuously remind you, and there's no difference. You can see where the film is taped in this particular area, and there's no difference inside the hex and outside the hex. So not a winner there, not a viable solution. Here's the other hex. Now it was glued on the right a little more than the left, so you can see a subtle difference, especially in the bottom right, inside to outside. So this made a bigger difference. Even the yellow, you can tell where the board is on the right part is still pinned down. There's a little bit of protection there. So not a very valid experiment, but you can see a little bit of an effect if you're careful. All right, now here's a little video tour of the cover of this Rawhide Kid. You can see the yellow's a little faded, but not a lot. The red is really faded. The black not affected seemingly at all, but you can see that it's very protected. And so here's this other part where it's a really huge difference. You can see these reds are super, super bleached out outside of where the hexagon was placed of that material. Here's a close-up of the first hexagon. As a reminder, the inside was protected, the outside was not. And you can see a big difference, I think. I didn't trace it exactly right because the bag moved a little bit, but you can see the yellows are approximately the same. I don't think they're much harmed at all. The blacks are definitely not harmed. But the reds are really bleached out. It's pretty obvious in this particular one. And in the second hex, it's really quite obvious. You can really, I don't really need to explain that one too much. I wish I had done some of the blues and greens in this guy. You can actually see some of the green fading in the, uh, in the Spider-Man book. And I'll zoom in on that here in a moment. So here's the Spider-Man book. You can see this green area is pretty well faded on this zoom in of the book here. While the blues, however, seem relatively unaffected. Really, the yellows are somewhat affected. Orange is a little, red's a lot, green's a little, blues, blacks, no effect whatsoever, as far as I can tell. So what's the message here, if there is one? Well, it, it works. These things work. The Slab Max UV things work. They are protective. If you're gonna, I mean, this was an extreme situation, the things facing the sun, you know, during the day, no one's gonna put their comic books outside, but, you know, just take whatever time scale you have and just that's what's gonna happen probably over time to your books, even in the case, of course, like this one, this is a CGC case. It's the same for the other brands as well. And you're not very susceptible, apparently, if you have blacks and blues on your book. If you have reds, you are apparently very susceptible and something medium on, on, the, other, on the other colors. So uh, does the, the film work? That film I bought, and this the third one I've tried, uh, basically no effect whatsoever. So there's nothing, I don't even know. I mean, I knew that because I had measured how much it absorbs with my uh, meter in previous experiments, and there's like basically none. So uh, you need a thicker material and better material like this to actually prevent it from doing any kind of damage. So yeah, that's it, they, they work, they work great. And it's a fun experiment, and I want to do some more. I need to get some red books with lots of red in them that are uh, already slabbed in CGC. Or maybe I just cut, you know, maybe I just take an old slab and cut pieces out of that and test it. Maybe that's the that's a better way to go. So anyway, if you have a book that you'd recommend that I test and get a hold of so I can see how it fades, 
like maybe Avengers 1. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I'll, I'm happy to do, do more tests and see how this works. They take a long time, so I don't expect to turn around really fast. So uh, that's it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, take care. Bye-bye.